Hi everyone, this is Deb Chem, a Canadian girl. Today is Tuesday, and on Tuesdays I do a little fish room update. So sit tight and I'll get right at it. So this morning I have two mums I need to strip. This is the yellow lab mum, and the other one is a red by red albino zebra. So let's get at it. I pick her up really nicely and gently so that I don't stress her. Now this tool that I'm using, it's a blunt blade, almost like a screwdriver, but it's called a meniscus knife. So I just slide it in and open her mouth and out come her eggs. She's used to this, so she doesn't even struggle in my hand. She's really a good mom. Okay, mom, let's see. A few more. There they are. Okay. So then I usually release her and just let her rest for a second. Let her know that she's not in danger. Okay, Mom, let's check you one more time. Oh, just a couple. There we go. I rub her buccal cavity too because sometimes it's puffed out. So I look inside and she looks like she is pretty empty. I'll just check her one more time. Come on, Mama. Yeah, she's done. So I just wanted to share with you the tumbler that I use. I have four of these that I got on Amazon, and I could not make one for um, the price or the quality. So it has two brackets. Then it has a main chamber and a filter sponge that goes in the bottom of the main chamber. Then it has this disc which keeps the babies in the main chamber and it goes inside the main lid. Then you have the extension tube, the earth stone with a cap, and you have your tubing which is connected to your airflow. So to begin with, you take the sponge and put it inside the main cylinder. Then you take the disc and put it inside the cap and then cap the main cylinder. Then you take the extension tube, slide it in top, and then slide your air stone down that tube. And you snap on your brackets and it's ready to go. Now this is a really fabulous tumbler. With this airstone tubing you can slide the airstone down or up and that controls the speed in which your babies are tumbling. Now I also have a dial or a little um, valve on my hosing as well so that I can control it because when they're just eggs they need a very low um, speed but as they get bigger they can handle a little more aggressive tumbling. These are the two batches of eggs that I stripped this morning. The ones on the left are red by red albino zebras and she was obviously a little further along and then this one um, on the right are once again more yellow labs. I actually have no problem with yellow labs because they're so easy to get rid of. So they can just keep pumping them out and I'm fine so with until that. next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.